I've continued to change. Again, man, he's doing this a lot. That's the way I'm really picking up on this editing style. I have found another creative on YouTube. We're gonna check out what happened to Sam Colder. I think you can guess who this is from. Cold. I'm gonna look at this from an editor's perspective and break down some of the different editing effects or structure and different things inside the video that you might not always realize. Now that I've said that, let's check it out. In short, I've changed. A lot. But to properly tell you how, we need to rewind a little bit. So about a year after high school, these two up and coming DJs saw my work and asked me to go on tour with them. From there, momentum had really started to build. I got a job working for a travel agency called Beautiful Destinations, where I got to travel while doing the thing I loved most. It was really exciting. I was traveling year round, waking up in new countries regularly, posting consistently, and seeing my following grow. I was taking on every opportunity I could, always staying busy, always working on something. It's like 3 p.m. and I'm exhausted. I lived this lifestyle for a long time, and it became my norm. I didn't want it to end. But eventually, the pendulum swung the other way. Okay, I was waiting for it to, to kind of finish off on that introduction section. He definitely has a bit of a, of a different pacing compared to some of the other people I've seen on YouTube when it comes to cinematic visuals. So to start off, obviously you got the notification somewhat small on the screen and you have the, the sound effect pop up and it's the, it's the whole question of the video. Pretty much for the first 15 seconds of it, he's got captions on it. But it is a little bit different. It has some movement to it and a bit of a glow. And some of the highlight words are like drawn on, which gives it a little bit more personality when it comes to the captions and, and the titles and stuff like that. But there are subtle sound effects behind it, like the projector and different stuff like that. To properly tell you how, we need to rewind a little bit but your, his main focus is mainly on obviously what he's saying. That's why he's captioning it and it's relatively you know, silent, so you only hear his voice. And also for this first minute, he's pretty much got it all inside of this format here. That's like a film-ish type of format. Throughout this section, the music is giving it somewhat of a buildup into the initial uh, purpose of the video. So about a year after high school, these two up and coming DJs saw my work and asked me to go on tour with them. Obviously we'll see that later on, but it gives it that build up. And as it's clicking through on certain parts, there's sound design behind it with the clips. Some of it was like clicking and then some of it was like you could hear the crowd. From there, momentum had really started to build. And for the most part, I mean, that's essentially what is going on with with this beginning first minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and yeah, also last thing before I move forward, there was a small part in here where he kind of dropped the music for a second, gave it a couple seconds, maybe not even, just a little bit to breathe, and then he picked it back up and kept going. It was really exciting. I was traveling year round. That's breaking the tempo a little bit and it gives you a little a little bit of a change and gives you a second to breathe throughout, you know, the editing and stuff. It's a creative decision, but I've definitely seen that happen. It, it does happen pretty often whenever you do want to kind of break the tempo and like cut the music, do stuff like that. But anyway, continuing on. The other way. The lifestyle I was living was unsustainable. Years of grinding, new time zones, no consistent routine, no consistent community, a lot of stress, a lot of stimulation, it all added up. My nervous system was out of balance and 
my body started to feel like it was shutting down. I'm not saying it wasn't worth it. That mindset Whoa. and lifestyle served me for the time it did. But it was time for me to make some changes in my life. Yo, what are you doing? We have a paddle court bucked. Something needed to change. <laughs> wow. That was a... Man. Throughout this entire section, the title is once again a little bit a little bit different. It still has that type of effect it was earlier on where it's kind of drawn on. Uh, but the title is in every single lit up space. Which again, creative decision. It does look pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. But something specifically, like some of these shots, you know, he went into the detail of, obviously all you gotta do is flip the title and then put it in the mirror portion. That's, that's how you do that duplicate. But it gives you the idea of what he was thinking about when he was recording it. I mean, he had to have been thinking about that as he was getting the shot. Otherwise he wouldn't have necessarily got the shot. And then there's like this muffled sound throughout and there's some subtle sound effects as well but like this muffled sound which really fits what he's talking about you know being burnt out kind of like your mind is fogged over and it really suits the what he's trying to portray as far as how you feel and or what he's talking about and how he felt my nervous system was out of balance and my body started to feel like it was shutting down which is, uh, you know, impressive. That's definitely something you want to focus on when making a project like this, a cinematic, cinematic project. I slowed down and developed more of a consistent routine for myself. Whoa. This was also when I decided to take a step back from social media and redirect my attention into other areas. I started wow. an online filmmaking school and community, and three years later, it's become more than I could have imagined. We're now a team of 10 with a community of over 4,000 members from across the globe. This was a really important chapter for me. Up until this point, everything I had been doing was so focused around me. But now I had created something that was bigger than me. And in that, I had found a new sense of purpose. Once all right. Yeah, that, that was pretty sick. The angles he's getting with how he's recording and all this stuff, you can definitely tell he has a specific idea in mind and he's built up or done this long enough to where he's built up his own style necessarily when he's thinking about how he wants to shoot something. It's very cinematic and I really like it. You know, there's sound design behind all of this but there's a part here where an interesting cut here is whenever you put the egg into the pan obviously it's a straight down shot of the egg and then i slowed down it goes straight into a straight up shot underneath the cup that he's pouring water into see so like you got this circle and it's not it's not a match cut but it kind of feels similar to the next shot that he cuts in two and oh. then you got the circle of the cup from underneath which kind of gives it the same shape and gives it some similarity between the two cuts i developed more of a consistent routine for myself and then with the music the music one one thing i do want to say is the music is very um it's giving more of an inspirational type of build up now he cuts to this shot here of the speaker and whenever he cuts to this shot he cuts the music and then changes it like it's being played through the speaker so he edited the music obviously to be played through the speaker which again makes it very film like because whenever you see a speaker you expect it to sound like it's coming out of the speaker so that's exactly what he did and then also again what i want to say is the grading behind here i know he just showed a node tree from da vinci which makes sense because the grading here is very uh very clean i like it a lot you got some like grayish bluish type of like in the shadows here and yeah it's pretty sick more than I could have imagined. Yeah, this shot here is also pretty sick. I don't know if this is from a different video or if he just kind of did this. He pretty much tracked it to the window and then rotoscoped himself behind it. And then as soon as he clicked it, he changed the grade and did all that. But it's still a pretty sick way to show different types of grading and stuff like that. It's like Tony Stark over here. I was members from across the globe. And he likes to cut the music dramatically and then go into 
another section, which at the end of the music, you can easily make it to where you can cut any song for the most part. If you just duplicate it, add a freeze frame to the, to the track itself, add a cathedral sound if you're in Final Cut, and then kind of just blend them to together. And then it'll give it that echoey type of ending to the song. Now, whenever he was cutting through the Polaroids that he was taking, he had a sound effect through each one, which gives it that level of depth, which I mention often with projects and stuff. He dramatically cuts the music again, I'm going to assume moving into this next section of this video. So it dramatically clicks and then he hits the typewriter, I think, and that's the hit that kind of ends the music which gives it a smooth, clean way into, into the next section. Once I had gained a bit of stability, I made the decision to move to the other side of the world. Ambience. I left my home country, Canada, and moved to the Middle East. This was my first time living on my own, which freed up a lot of time for me to invest into learning new things and perfecting different skill sets. Man! Like folding laundry. Washing dishes. These shots are insane. I also, I really like this soundtrack that he chose here. Just the different angles and how he's cutting through. One, he has this angle where he's holding the, the suitcase handle and the background is changing because obviously he's cutting at different moments of him walking through different areas. Some of the shots are very unique when it comes to how it's recorded and then put together. And Breathwork. Breathwork was a big one. It helped me learn how to regulate my nervous system through the power of the breath. You see, the human nervous system branches off into the parasympathetic and sympathetic. All right. One is responsible for healing, and the other one is responsible for survival. And in order to live a long and healthy life, you need to find balance between the two. And for a very long time, I didn't have balance. Breath. Very dramatic. Very dramatic. This entire project is very dramatic, which is what he's trying to, you know, he's trying to explain his life uh, or like what he's he's gone through and stuff like that. So obviously you're going to have that level of, of drama because, you know, everybody goes through different things. He's doing a very good way of portraying kind of how he's felt. And how to regulate my nervous system through the power of the breath. We got some subtle tracking. One, the format is different here, which is a creative decision. And the colors are very minimal. And so there's some subtle tracking here when he's showing the, you know, different effects and, and stuff like that. And behind it, you'll hear a heartbeat sound effect. And sympathetic. One is responsible for healing and the other one is responsible for survival as he's talking about the human body, which fits very well together when it, you know, you're, you're thinking about it. And in order to live a long and healthy life, you need to find balance between the two. And for a very long time, I didn't have balance. Breathwork helped me raise my awareness around this, and it's now become a daily practice for me. I also dove deeper into health and wellness. I got better at acro yoga and at flying. I learned about inflation and the solution to it. I dove even deeper into studying filmmaking. I learned an entirely new software, and I even dipped my toes into music production. I'm going to assume this Da Vinci is what he learned, because I believe that's what he was showing. But anyway, I mean, the music picked back up, and he's going through again. He's finding different pockets to kind of cut the music and then keep it going, cut the music again, keep it going, breathe here and then pick it back up here. So he's doing a very good job from what I'm noticing is finding those pockets to kind of pause and then give you a, a little bit to breathe and then pick it back up again, which, you know, is impressive whenever you're able to do that successfully. I've actually made a few tracks for some of my videos, but they're pretty basic. If I ever need some high quality bangers, I always go to music bed. Sponsor. You see, music is one of the most important things when it comes to storytelling. It can completely change the way the viewer feels. All right. So we got an effect here. I mean, he simply just recorded him walking at different angles and then rotoscoped him and applied it all over top each other to simply put how he would achieve this effect. And that's the main goal with telling stories, to convey a feeling. Interesting. 
That's why I go to music bed when sourcing my See? music. That is what I'm talking about. He's doing very well on finding different pockets to start and stop, start and stop. And it doesn't really feel unnatural. It flows together very nice. Pretty, you know, it's pretty interesting. I like, I like how, I like what he's doing here. To convey a feeling. How I would assume he did this effect is, yeah, so he rotoscoped himself and then just froze the clip underneath the rotoscope, which stopped traffic and then the sound design as well gives it that sense of stopping and, and makes it more dramatic and gives it more depth. That's why I go to music bed when sourcing my music. Yeah. We have the largest collection of curated music and tools to help me find exactly what I'm looking for. So after a long time in one place, I was ready to go back out into the world Ever since my brother passed away, I was left with this feeling in me that our time here is short. And that feeling has never left. It's that feeling that drives me to do and experience as much as possible with the short time I have in this reality. Yeah. That's really why I had the urge to jump off a mountain. In my mind, that's the pinnacle of adrenaline. And it was one of those things that I felt I needed to do before I die. I linked up with my friend Alex to Interesting. Lots of different ambience going on here, but in one specifically, the part where he's walking and you're kind of under, kind of under like a bridge or I don't think it's a bridge, some type of building, right? Uh, you have the ambience and then there's a subtle J cut into the next scene of kind of the movement and stuff going across. Which is a subtle but uh, detailed decision. I linked up with my friend Alex Satori, who's a professional skydiver. We met on a trip back in 2019 when we jumped into the blue hole in Belize. That was a wild trip. Alex would be the person to prepare me for my first base jump. We spent a couple weeks together training. I did a bunch of jumps from his paraglider to <laughs> Wow. The day came to jump from the mountain. Well then. Yep, I could definitely, uh, I could definitely tell there's some adrenaline behind that. But anyway, there's, uh, I mean, yeah, he's just pretty much just doing his thing, putting together the project. The music is very, the music he's choosing suits the the overall feeling he wants to give off. Which I've said that multiple times. Yeah, it really fits the the whole adrenaline and kind of just doing something risky. And something I'm noticing more about his color grading specifically is it's a little bit darker. Like the colors are a little bit darker and just the overall picture is, is pretty dark. It's pretty interesting when it comes to people color grade things differently. I've seen multiple different ways of color grading. And this is a very uh, film-ish, you know, cinematic. And then once again, he did that cut off and it went silent. So you're fully focused on the clip itself and what he's about to do, which is pretty, uh, you know, pretty crazy. <laughs> then the music, the upbeat part of the music, obviously when the adrenaline would be going at its most, picks up and really hits after he dives across from being completely silent. <laughs> which really gives you that sense of energy picking up as he's diving and, and stuff like that. Since then, a lot has happened. I've had a lot of wow. highs, but also a lot of lows. A lot of discomfort, but also a lot of growth. 
I've continued to change. Again, man, he's doing this a lot. That's the way I'm really picking up on this editing style. He really likes to find those pockets just to kind of stop and start. Wow. And then you also have this subtle underwater muffled overlay effect on the music whenever that's happening to kind of just fit the situation. And it just keeps on going. I've continued to change, to experiment, to build, to evolve, to get to know myself better. And that's spot. All right. You know, I've seen a lot through me looking at different people on YouTube that do cinematic film type of videos. I've seen this effect done quite a bit. I mean, you can look at almost every single one I've done and they've all done this. Pretty much just had the camera in the same spot. He probably did the motion in post and then he just uh, masked around different sections so there's four different clips overall and then just blended them all together so that it looks like there's multiple versions of him mark that initially ignited all of this is returning but in a different way i want to dive even deeper into the world of film productions with the hopes of one day being able to direct my own series that's my dream and i think it's important to define our dreams Again. You'll still see me here and there on social media, but my focus has shifted and I'm excited to apply the knowledge I've gathered in filmmaking and in life to this next chapter. And to continue to learn, to grow, and to change. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to. I hope that answers your question. All right. Well, so he started and ended on the same screen of this question about what happened to Sam Colder. And overall, that was a pretty, uh, a pretty good production when it comes to the overall project in film. Just being able to kind of use sound effects and music and knowing when to do this and when to do that. It's very impressive from what I've seen in this video and you can tell he's taking some time to really figure out his own style and his own way that he likes to put stuff together in a production standpoint that was what happened to sam colder so now we know what happened to him if there's anybody else that you'd like me to break down the editing for you can go ahead and leave a comment and here's another video if you want to check it out that i made i'll see you with the next edit